Hello everyone, I am Ankit. In this video tutorial, we will learn about HTML tables. Table is a format or structure which is used to display data, images or any content on a web page. It is also used to define a structure of a web page. This is a sample table which is showing some data. In a table, the horizontal lines are called rows and vertical lines are called columns. Each individual block is called cell. So we can say there are 6 rows, 4 columns and 24 cells in this table. Let us now see how we can create a table in HTML. To do this, mainly three tags are used, table, tr and td. Let's now consider a sample table and understand the tags to create it. Suppose we want to create this table with four rows and two columns. Table creation starts with table tag. It is used to mark the start and finish of any table and used only once in a single table structure. TR tag stands for table row and used to create a row in a table. So the number of TR tags is equal to the number of rows in your table. In our example, there will be 4 TR tags since we want to create 4 rows in our table. The last tag we will use is TD tag which stands for table data and used to create table cells in a table. We have 8 cells in our example table so there will be 8 TD tags in our table. But these tags are put between TR tags. In the first row we have two cells or two columns. So we need to write TD tag twice between first TR tag like this. Between TD tag the content or data is written which it shows. So pause the video and observe carefully how data has been put between td tags. We can repeat this process for remaining rows so our code to create an example table looks like this. Here I am doing it for first three rows only. Now there are several properties which are used along with table tag. Border property is used to set the border thickness in pixels. If you do not want table to have borders, you can set this property to 0. Other properties are height and width which are used to set the height and width of table respectively. There are two other properties call span and row span which are used to merge columns or rows. Let's have a look on these properties. Suppose we want to create a table with two columns merged in a first row. To do this we can use call span property of td tag. We need to set call span equal to 2 in td tag of first row as shown. Number 2 indicates that we are merging total 2 columns. Similarly, if we want to merge rows, we can use row span property. As shown in this example, we have set 
रो स्पान इक्वल टू 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 मर्ज टू रोज रोज आर मर्जिंग इन फर्स्ट कॉलम सो वी विल यूज दिस प्रॉपर्टी इन फर्स्ट टी डी टैग ऑफ फर्स्ट रो इन सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट सेल हैज ऑलरेडी बीन मर्ज सो वी विल राइट कोड ओनली फॉर सेकेंड सेल मीन्स वी मस्ट राइट टी डी टैग ओनली वंस सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट टेबल्स इन एच टी एम एल लेटस सी वन एग्जाम्पल वेर आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट अ टेबल बाय कोड सो लेट सी नाउ वन एग्जाम्पल इन विच आई विल शो हाउ टू क्रिएट टेबल सो हियर इज माई एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट टू क्रिएट अ टेबल वी विल स्टार्ट विथ टेबल टेक here we will create a table to display the person data so in first column we will display name of the person and in second column we will display the age of person so here is my first column is ready now let's copy this row to display the records so first name i will display and age and in second row i will display another name so here my sample table is ready let's check the output for it so here is a table which we created now if you want to see the borders of table you can do that using border property you have to set the border thickness in pixels so i am setting a border having one pixel thickness so borders are visible now you can also set height and width of table by default table will be adjusted according to content it is showing so i am setting height and width in pixels again let's now see how we can use uh, call span and row span property first we'll see how to use call span property so to use call span property i am creating one row on top of the table and in that row i am setting the header of table person data now if i see this first row which i created this person data will be in the first column but i want to display it in a center means i want to merge the two columns so i'll set call span equal to 2 2 indicates that i am merging two columns so here you can see two columns have been merged using call span property now let's see the use of row span property for that i am 
adding one column displaying the nationality of a person and both the persons have the nationality Indian so I can show it in common for both the persons so for that I can add one column in second row and showing the next nationality in that column and I'll set row span equal to 2 in that column so it will span in the second row too so here you can see that Indian nationality is uh, spanning over the two rows using the row span property but one more thing we added one column uh, so total number of columns are three now so we have to merge the three columns now previously we were merging two columns so now I have to change this data to call span equal to 3 so now it will show the correct output so this is how you can display table in a web page using HTML thank you for watching the video hope you liked it keep learning keep growing stay happy goodbye these are some important questions from this video they will be helpful to you either you are taking examination as a student or appearing in an interview. So go through them and try to find the answers by yourself. All the best.